here we are in the apartment. Oh, V! You get any sleep? Ah, no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jagged into that corpo's biomine. You no, know, uh, neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. So I caught a virus, huh? Hacking into that... That, uh... Woman's system. Let's see. I need to carry my shoes and that around. I think I got everything I need. I have a better pair of pants in here. <laughs> Shorts. And nah. Alright, let's head out into the city. See about getting rid of this virus. Regina Jones. Hey, V. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. So she's the one that T-Bug told me about. She sent me a message. Hey, V, Regina Jones here. Heard you're looking for work in Watson. Just so happens I'm one of its main employers. If you don't want to waste these talents of yours, check the gigs I sent you. Do good work, and there's more where that came from. I'll be in touch. Groovy. Alright. Well, they got the door fixed, by the way. Yeah. Cool. So, the police are messing with the neighbor. None of my business. Oh, man. I love this. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so how about it? Yeah, why not? Wait a minute. Where'd you get him? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in. Fed him. Clothed him. <laughs> Nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal. And a tumor mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. Yeah, all right. Let's do this. Yeah. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Sale. Only top shelf gear. Oh, you sell some stuff too here. How much money have I got? 903. What's he got? Max Doc. Bounce back. Cold shoulder mod. So he's got like some uh, fighting mods. Wondering if I got three and I got sixteen bounce back. Yeah, I'd be all right. Let's 
So he was saying something about fights on the side. You go in the ring yourself. Not anymore. Skull's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. There's ways of fixing that. Karenzikov should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. Hmm. You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Yeah, why not? Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pocket. Manage to drop every last one of them. You get a chance to fight in the grand finale. Got all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start with the boot. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. See you later, coach. We bring you bottom-tier quality that even Mother Nature can Try out our freshly developed new taste. Couple words about who you're going up against. Kabuki won't spoil it. Just come and see. Arroya. Buck, 6th Street Ganger. Real POS. Third is Glenn. Uh, in the Glenn, Caesar fights like effing... Fists like effing hammers. Fourth is Animals Club, the Rhino. She's a legend, lays everyone flat. Alright. Sweet little 45 waiting for its daddy. First after every shot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got a gun? I got a gun sitting in here. Give me my gun. Yeah. Let's have a look. What do we got? Is that it? Dying Night. Not as good as my Nova. But it's mine. What else he got? Got some scopes. Hmm. Ah, he's got some upgrade components. Yeah. Huh. And ammo. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna keep scrapping stuff. I'm gonna see if I can't get some some of those myself. Oh boy. What is what do we got here? Empty scope slot, empty muzzle slot. Hmm. Yeah, see, it does 7 to 9 physical damage. and But the Nova does 17 to 21 thermal damage. It's packing a lot more punch. Dying Knight's faster, though. Almost 6 attacks per second, whereas the Nova's 2. Eh. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I appreciate it. Let's take a look. Yeah. I'm partial of those revolvers, man. Mm. Just a thing. Free ammo. Ah, 
I can't get in the shooting range. Oh well. Let's go see what Jackie's up to. Yesterday? It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to delta the fuck out of there. Yeah, no biggie. Not like that cyber psycho was a tank on two chrome legs. What the fuck were you thinking? There's a reason Max Tack exists, you know. Civilians were in danger. What was I supposed to do? Just watch them get mowed down? Listen, you, me, and every fucking cop in this city might as well be a civilian next to MaxTac. The day they give us the gear they're packing, go right ahead. Be the hero. Save the fucking day. But until then, you keep your head down and listen to me. That understood? Okay. Ticket. <laughs> hey. Man of the hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Looked up an appetite just waiting. Well. Sit down. Let me finish this, and we can drop in on Senor Vector. Didn't figure you was a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles, check. Since sirloin, check. It's some more chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Wells' signature sopa de fideos. Hey, hey, hey. something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coup. Hmm. I thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Mastered the nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. A lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. I'm glad to. Hmm. This is it, Jackie. Our break. Dex needs friends, needs us. You can use them. Amen, I said. It's a win-win. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade a new spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? Oh, but T-Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on. Ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, 
This whole deal is riding on you now, I see. <laughs> All right. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako. Hey. Dex is orbital don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, adios. Where you know? Brunch your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, dust up with scabs. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Let's go see about getting something uh, taken care of. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Yeah. Let's feel this factory new. Hey. There she is. Looks nice. First stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. Yeah, I think I better. I was supposed to stop by the There we go. Now. I got a date. The end is day. Let me say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? This ain't too bad. Oh, we got a slow guy in front of us, though. Oh, just right here. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Yeah, I gotta get rid of this virus. But you are not the masters of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you, or rather, not only to you. Do you truly believe? That those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life, for them it is all mere spectacle. Yeah, if anyone was watching and giving a damn, I'd have half the city's underworld and half its corpse on my ass already. And if you are their pawn, <laughs> unknowingly carrying out their secret agendas. Yeah. I think I stumped him. But who are those who follow our every step, <laughs> you ask? Why, the titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri! Oh, those guys. In their wretchedness, they placate their weary and oppressed masses by putting our laughter, our tears, on full display! Like in that show! Quick, get next to him! I'll snap still if you are arresting him for revealing government secrets. Open your mind before it's <laughs> too late! <laughs> Jessica will like die if she sees it. Oh nice. But this is Max Nova. I just can't. Dude, you're a sideshow. Radio waves bear the truth. Let All right, I'm moving along. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Groovy. You look pleased. Because I am, always. Makes for easier living. But we got a new job lined up. Uh oh, he's already telling her about it. 
me. Hey, hello, kitty. Nice cat. Vicky, fry as ever, you old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, Vicky. Oh, wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Hmm. Yeah. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Me tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Yeah, that's true. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. All right. Been in a lot of these Kuroshi chairs optics. lately. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack, in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. Yeah. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Okay. Now, so, he said I'm getting uh, hands, getting an upgrade to my ocular. Okay, that's the uh, motherboard, pretty much. Kuroshi Optics. Enhances your vision. Empty Cyberwood mod slot. Kuroshi Optical Cyberware is a widely popular suite composed of electro-neural enhancements with environment scanning functionality. Bingo. Let's see what we're getting on the hands. Ballistic coprocessor. Increases the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons. That's what I've got. Directly links the user's optical implant to the weapon system, offering real time data tracking. Nice. Yeah. And uh, he's already spotting me this stuff. I can't afford anything else, I don't think. Better just go with Mark what he's one, giving like me. Like I said, these are enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the tops of built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Pretty good. Mm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Feel anything? 
<laughs> play by play, though. Really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. <laughs> Lights out for a minute, all right? Ooh. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. Hmm. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Hmm. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Yeah. Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. NCPD database. I also an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Oh. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. All right. Nice. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. Oh, Got cool. a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. Right. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Nice. Guard up, you idiot. <laughs> Come on, punch him. Jackie sends me a text. What's taking so long? Move your ass, S.A. Dex is waiting on us. Yeah, yeah. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. You now every last fighter's got extra skull line. Absorb 75% of every blow. Hmm. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> It's out of habit more than anything else. Oh, he used to be a fighter. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh. Well. How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. Yeah, it's true. Well, all right. Gotta go. Take it easy, Vic.
heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields. And avoid mean reds. Anything red. Hmm. Guess I can mean. release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields. And avoid mean reds. Anything red. Okay. V Sorry, Miss. He's waiting in his ride. For you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay. Do my best to talk us up. Alright. Sorry to interrupt you guys. I'll catch up with you. Uh oh. V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. All right. You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! If it's such a big giveaway, won't they just install optics? Or use contact lenses, at least? If it were only so simple, they are reptiles. Their nervous system isn't compatible with human cybernetics. Then why not have their own rippers invent some? Are you sure they haven't already? And where did this filth slither out from, you ask? Antarctica, you said that already. <laughs> Today they hide amidst the snow and ice of the South Pole. Step by step, usurping our crown as creation's chosen. Millions of years ago, they evolved from dinosaurs to become the world's first advanced intelligent race. And who is their progenitor? Their masters? The scientists of Alpha Centauri! Right. And I can see them because I got these special sunglasses. So he said Dexter Deshaun was just up the road here. Yeah, not too far. All right. Let's see. Scanner works here. What do we got? Tiger Claws. Wanted Night City. Grand Theft. And I could probably hack his system. Oh, he's offline. Let's face it, I could use a job. Whoa. All right, he's got grenades. Dropped him. He had an EMP or something. Ah. Okay, it's two down. I'm trying to help the cops here. Patrol officer, okay. Okay, there's... Yeah, it says target offline. Alright. Re 
tired. don't mind. I think I'll just help myself to their stuff. Oh, wait. You're still... You know what? I'll let the cops take you away. Fuck you looking at! Sorry. Guitar pick. Okay, so I guess I did my good deed for the day. Nah, I'll let her live. <clears throat> Dexter is Sean, huh? Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. Thank you. All right. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Okay, here's a question. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you, but we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. The job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah? Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. The client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Okay. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, 
Our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leave you. So I'm the, kind of the go-between. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see? Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Now, nah, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when. Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstorm, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Huh. Well, let's start with Royce. Royce guy. What's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Wow. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent. Internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, mm. to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Gotcha. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. I don't trust him. Clint to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Chingon. Hmm. Yeah, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. <laughs> Great. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Right around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? 
I'll talk with her first. Because in the meantime, I want to get some equipment. You're weirding me out, V. I'm thinking. Uh, we'll go with client. Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Hasta luego. Later, brother. Yeah, I want to do some jobs. I want to see about getting some uh, some eddies and some better equipment. Oh yeah, he called or he texted while I was talking. To, hey, leveled up. Dexter to Sean. Hey V, how about a little something to get those taste buds tingling? The biochip in question is, in fact, the so-called relic, a Nova tier piece of tech catering to the top 1%. Supposedly the best life insurance money can buy. You and I are going to be neat, neat, neck deep in eddies. Okay. Yeah. So it's a one-of-a-kind chip. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take my tech ability up. Let's see what I can do with crafting. Allows you to craft rare items. Yeah. Gain more components when disassembling. That might be helpful right now. Junk items that are automatically disassembled. Nah, that seems kind of a waste. Allows you to craft rare items. But that doesn't do me any good if I don't have any components, so... I'll do that first. What do we got under engineering? Okay, yeah. That's good for now. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see what kind of weapons I got off those guys. Uh, Nowaki. Compared to the Copperhead, it's better. Got a Unity. Another Unity. Pulsar. Power submachine gun. Mm. Here's what I think I'll do. Disassemble that. That's a better copperhead. I'll disassemble this one. Wait a minute. Well, I can't. I'm gonna get rid of this pulsar too. Got some uncommon item stuff there. Got my dying knight. I don't know if I'm gonna use that one. I don't know. Yeah, why not? Swap it out. And I'll swap that out. I'll hang on to the Nova. Get rid of this Copperhead. And get rid of both of them. Alright, let's see. What else we got? Whoa! Silver Wrap Earring. Worth 750 eddies. Two of them. I can sell those. Get rid of this. That's why... I, yeah, I don't want to automatically disassemble junk. Because right there, that's... Hell, that's 1,500 right there. And let's eat something. Ketchup. <laughs> yeah, let's eat a package of ketchup and drink some water for lunch. Delicious. I better put my jacket on. I didn't realize I wasn't wearing it. Okay. I gotta... Let's take a look at this. Aha! Uh -huh. So, I can slot that in there. 
cool. And I still got my katana. Oh, what is... God, I just got out of the car with him. What does he want now? Mr. V, I just want to remind you again that Eddie's have already changed hands between me and my esteemed Maelstrom partners in biz. Around sum of ten grand, to be precise. So when you're there to take it off their hands, don't let them try to shake you down as they're liable to. Maelstrom being Maelstrom. Alright. Thanks for the info. You'll need it. Best of luck. Okay, I probably shouldn't be just standing around in the middle of the street with a gun in my hands, so... There we go. Here's a question. Where the hell did they drive me to? Let's take a look. Alright, so my apartment's all the way down there. So they just basically took me somewhere on the map and dropped me off. What do we got here? Oh, is this that? Yeah, okay. Let's track this job. Uh, retrieve the ping quick hack from the net runner. So, um, let's see called the gift. Yeah. Retrieve the ping quick hack from the net runner. T-Bug's probably the last person you'd expect to do presents. She's not the kind of gal who goes around buying novelty coffee mugs or t-shirts of your favorite comic book hero. But a net runner program for you, for the job, she must really like you, I say. Okay. And it's in that building right there. So they kind of saved me some time getting across town. Quick hack. If, brother, if you had any idea. <laughs> hey, for a pickup. Order number 48. Let's see. El Dorado Pawn Shop. I'm just checking out the scenery. What do we got? <laughs> Milf guard. Nice. That's uh, kind of a play on the Milf guard. The Witcher. It's back. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Hmm? Got a Militech power line. Think it'll do. Hmm. Solid gear. For a beginner. <laughs> okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Alright. So it's a ping. Reveals enemies and devices connected to the local network. Yeah, that might come in handy. What else she got? 
request back up. I can't get these yet. Way too out of my price range. Short circuit. I've got that, I think. Weapon glitch. 300. Hmm. Weapon glitch. Yeah, I'll check and see what I've got. No. How's this work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here, grab some shady running soft? No, not just any punk. Over the counter, we fix cyber decks. But if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, I'm sure you will find it. Okay, all right. You gotta be connected. So let's see. Okay, so my my hacks work through my operating system, so it's got to be this. Yep. So the ping. I've got short circuit and reboot optics. I don't have the weapon glitch. Yeah, but I don't want to spend three hundred right now. Let's swap these out. Okay, wait a minute. That just popped up. So, we've got a uh, surveillance camera. And we're going to ping it. Ah! Okay, I get it. Now, we got IC and we got 55, so nothing here. I see, no luck there. I see, and then 55, so we'll start out with an E9. We'll go down to the IC and then we'll go over to the 55. Groovy. Worked out pretty good. Thank you much. Wow, look at this city. Speaking as a hardcore Blade Runner fan, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. I saw it when I was 11. Back in uh, the movie theater when it first came out. Blew my mind then, it still blows my mind today. 